We're here at NAM with Dave on the Bitwig booth and he's going to show us what's new in version 3 actually, isn't it? Yes. It, it doesn't seem that long since version 1. Where's all this time gone? <laughs> I, I We've just gotten older, I'm afraid. <laughs> ah, that's what it is. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot of new cool stuff in here, so where do we start? Sure. Uh, well, version 3, the main thing that we're introducing is a modular sound design editing environment called the Grid. Hmm. Um, it basically consists of, there's two elements of it basically, uh, about 120 some modules that are interconnectable uh, is one half of it. The other half of it is a lot of workflow gestures just to make it quick and easy to make some kind of sound. So you're not trying to focus on where'd my audio go, you're just yeah. tuning and tweaking. Um, so uh, we have all manner of things, oscillators, filters, the math kind of stuff, the fancy kind of things, anything you would need to build a system. And then like I'm referring to, the gestures on top of there. So uh, we have oscillators, they have easy parameters for changing to create something unique. If you take it back to default, it's the bread and butter shapes that you're used to, so it's easy to morph quickly. Um, but then these gestures, uh, maybe instead of a triangle wave here, I want a pulse wave. And I liked those settings, so I drop it in. And it recognizes, oh, this is an oscillator, we had similar settings, let's preserve them, let's keep your chords in place. You're ready to go and make something else. Maybe I want to add something a little further down the chain, like a wave shaper. By just dropping it in, it's automatically connected it for me. It sees, oh, you had a patch chord there, let's just put it in line, sound keeps going. And the same token, okay, that was a terrible idea, I don't want the distortion. Once it goes away, it just reconnects. So, it's made to be fluid and fast and interesting for people. So this should really please the modular synth guys? Well, a little bit of both, hopefully. I mean, yeah. there's three flavors here, there's three devices that house this environment. Whether you're trying to make like a polyphonic synth, a standard synthesizer. Yeah. Um, this, which is like a drum box kind of thing for a mono grid, so you can deal in a monophonic way and then one for even building audio effects. Sounds, but, like, sounds like a lot of fun, and you just drag the cables to connect? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. If I find an open port, it's mine. Uh, and at the same time, there's some of these like little pre-connections to say, well, pretend it's not a drum box. I want it to follow the oscillator. Uh, the oscillator should follow the keyboard notes. Yeah. Well, now it's on without having to patch that across your whole patch. So just trying to keep it clear and a little bit more obvious to people who might have been scared by something that looks like this before. Okay. Yeah. Anything else in there that we should know about? Well, this is the main feature that we're focusing on. There's a few other things, and we'll be entering public beta in three or four weeks for version three, hoping to release it by quarter two. Okay. So there'll be a few more details on this, the other touches that are in there, but this will be the feature. This is what we want people to kick the tires on the most. Okay. Um, and anybody who owns it when it gets released, because we have the upgrade plan cycle, if your upgrade plan is valid, you get three the day it comes out. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Dave.